Okay, calculate the magnitude of the magnetic force. Uh, this is force. Okay, I want to draw it right, right down. This is about force, uh, not feel. Uh. It's not feel, not magnetic feel. It's magnetic force. Uh, okay, so magnetic force is asking about this one, yeah? Uh, magnetic force. For proton, okay, it's a proton, yeah, the charge is a proton is a proton uh okay i write it's a positive charge but the charge of the proton is the same as the electron charge yeah uh, because uh the charge of one proton uh the charge of one proton is the same as one electron yeah uh yeah so proton positive charge positive charge okay uh, charge of one proton is the same as charge of one electron. Okay. Now traveling with this speed. Uh, so this is the velocity. Okay. Uh, put it over here. Okay. Uh, this velocity in the uniform magnetic flux density. Uh, what is uh, magnetic flux density? The unit is verbal per meter square. Okay. Uh, what is this? Uh, what is magnetic flux density? Uh, magnetic flux density is the same as magnetic field. Uh, it is magnetic field, yeah. Sometimes we call it. Uh, sometimes we call it. Um, it has different name, yeah. It has different name. Sometimes you call magnetic. Uh, sometimes you call magnetic field. Uh, strength. Uh, sometimes you call magnetic field intensity. Uh, okay. Uh, this magnetic flux density. So magnetic flux density is B lah. Yeah, it has different name. Magnetic field strength, magnetic field intensity, magnetic flux density. All these refer to magnetic field strength. Okay, B, B. So, uh, 1.5 verbal per meter square. Okay, uh, so this is the B. Yeah. So what I can say is, uh, the unit, uh, the unit of magnetic field strength. Yeah, it can it can have two two kind of unit. Uh. one is a uh, Tesla. Another one is verbal per meter square. Uh, so both of these are unit for magnetic field strength. Okay. Um, you know why we have verbal per meter square? Because in later chapter in med electromagnetic induction, you will learn up about magnetic flux. Uh, you will learn about magnetic flux, which is uh you know flux is equal to uh, B dot A, yeah, uh, it's B dot A. Uh, B A cos cosine theta. Ah, so from here you can see A B is actually flux over area. Uh, flux over area. So you know the flux unit is verbal, and then the area unit is meter square. Uh, that's why the magnetic field strength has the unit verbal per meter square. Okay, which is also Tesla. All right. Okay, uh, so magnetic field strength has two units, uh, verbal per meter square or Tesla, uh, uh, flux over area, verbal per meter square. Okay, now, uh, so this is the B, B value. So if, uh, so you can write this, um, you know, the B value, this B value, uh, you can, the B you, is uh, 1.5 verbal per meter square, or you also can write it as 1.5 Tesla. Understand? Okay. Now, if the velocity of the proton is perpendicular to the magnetic field, so if the velocity v is perpendicular to the field, ah, uh, okay, and uh, okay, let's do question A first, huh? Let's do question A. So, if the velocity is perpendicular to the field, okay. So we want to find what? We want to find magnetic force, okay? So this is a uh, for charge moving in magnetic field. Uh, this is a charge moving in magnetic field. We want to find the magnetic force. So for this one, uh, it's force on moving charge particle in a uniform magnetic field. Uh, we use this formula, F equal to QV cross B or F equal to QVB sine theta, okay? So let's use that formula. Okay, which is uh you know we want to find magnetic force 
not magnetic field, ah, magnetic force. Field is B, yeah. Okay, so we want to find magnetic force, uh, which is a uh, QV, uh, QV cross B, right? For this case, huh? for this case, uh, all right, we want to find for this case, okay? So now, uh, okay, QV cross B, uh, is V cross the B, yeah? is between V cross the B. Okay, or we can uh, write it as B, Q, V. We can write it as B, Q, V, sine, theta. Ah, okay. And what is theta? Okay, theta is the angle between, angle between what? Angle between V and B. Why we say between V and B? Uh, because we see who cross who. Uh, it's between V cross B. Understand? It's between V cross B. So this theta is between the... Is, okay, it's V cross the B. So the angle theta must be between velocity and magnetic field. Uh, so question A, he says the velocity is perpendicular to the field. Uh, perpendicular to the field. Okay? And theta is the angle between velocity and magnetic field. So... So I can say uh, this one means the theta is 90 degree. Uh, yeah, because the velocity and magnetic field uh, is perpendicular. So the angle between V and B, yeah, and theta, angle between V and B is 90 degree. Uh, okay. Important thing the theta must be between velocity and magnetic field. It's not between force and velocity. It's not between force and magnetic field. Uh, is the theta must be between velocity and magnetic field. Okay, it has nothing to do with the force. Understand? The angle has nothing to do with the force. Okay, is the angle must be between velocity and magnetic field. Okay, so uh, let's continue. Yeah, let's continue. So, put in our values. Do we have all the values? We have the b. Yeah, b is one point five. Velocity is three exponent seven. Okay. And then the theta, the charge is a uh, proton charge. A proton is uh, one proton is one electron. Okay, one proton is one electron. Ah, uh, yeah. So I can write uh, the charge is uh, a proton charge. Pro one proton is one electron charge. Okay, and the electron charge you can find from the list of constant value. Uh, proton charge is the electron charge also is 1.6 exponent negative 19 yeah Coulomb uh, one point the proton charge is the same as electron charge yeah the proton charge is the same as electron charge 1.6 exponent negative 19 that's why the atom is neutral yeah that's why the atom is neutral because the proton charge equal to electron charge okay um okay that's good so i can write put in all my values here and magnetic field is uh, 1.5 put in the value 1.5 uh, and then one point x charge is the proton charge or electron charge they have the same charge velocity is uh, 3 exponent 7 3 exponent 7 and sine theta theta is the angle between who cross who? Ah, huh? uh, remember the theta is between who cross who. Is velocity cross with magnetic field? It's not the force cross with velocity. It's not the force cross with magnetic field. But it's between velocity cross with magnetic field. That's why you remember. We must remember this formula. Q V B cross B, and you can see who cross who. Who cross who? Who cross who means angle between who cross who. Understand? angle between the two vector the two who are crossing each other okay so uh, theta is 90 degree put in 90 degree sine 90 and we remember sine 90 is equal to 1 yeah why we remember that because remember all this diagram sine graph okay theta and sine theta yeah 0 90 degree 180 uh, 270 and 360 we know that over here is 1 yeah so when uh, sine 90 when sine 90 equal to 1 understand uh, sine 90 is equal to 1 okay so all right so
So I think I can solve it. Uh, find the magnetic force, multiply. Okay, 1.6 exponent negative 19. Apply 3 exponent. 3 exponent, uh, the velocity is 3 exponent 7. Huh? 3 exponent 7. Okay, 3 exponent 7. Okay, so I got the answer is um, 7.2 exponent uh, negative 12. Uh, unit is Newton. Uh, remember, you must have unit. Yeah, you must have new unit. Newton. Okay, do, it, do you need the direction of the force? No. Uh, the question just asks for magnitude only. No direction. Okay? No direction. Just magnitude only. Magnitude. So, no need to give direction. No need to give direction. Alright? Just the magnitude. Uh, so, the magnitude is 7.2 exponent negative 12. Yes, that's correct. 7.2 exponent negative 12. Newton. That's correct. The answer is correct. Okay? So, for question B, question B, velocity and of the proton makes angle 50 degree with the field. So, this is between, this angle 50 degree is between V and B. Okay? So, this angle now is 50 degree. Uh, so, this is theta. Alright? So, let's do it. So question B, so now V and B is, uh, theta is uh, 50 degree, yeah? Uh, the angle V and B is uh, 50 degree, alright? Uh, 50 degree, okay, do I have the, uh, yeah? Okay, V and B is 50 degree, so I can say, like this lah, we can draw it out. So uh, V and B, uh, yeah, between them is fifty degree. Okay, B cross B. Uh, so later on you will have your force, magnetic force V V cross B. Uh, right hand grid rule, yeah, magnetic force. Uh, this will be your magnetic force, which is perpendicular to both of them. Perp uh, velocity force is perpendicular to Force is always perpendicular to the magnetic field and also perpendicular to the velocity. Yeah, force is always perpendicular to both of them. Yeah, so uh, this fifty degree, uh, this fifty degree is the angle between angle between velocity and magnetic field. Yeah, remember that. Uh, force is has nothing to do with the the theta. Okay. So okay, the formula is uh, I always remember the Q V cross B. I always remember the QV cross B because I want to know angle theta is between them. Who cross who? Okay, who cross who? Angle theta is between them. So uh, I can write it as QVB, you know, QVB cosine, eh, no, no, QVB sine theta. Ah, remember when we use cross, we use sine. Understand? Uh, we use dot, we use cosine yeah i have another formula which is cosine uh, like this one you see dot product uh, dot product dot if dot product use cosine you see that if uh, dot dot product use cos if dot product use cos, cos theta if uh, cross product use sine theta if cross product use sine theta uh, if dot use cos if cross use sine yeah i still remember that one I, I you learn in uh, your first semester a dot b if dot product use it use cosine if cross product okay a cross b is a b sine theta ah that's ah if dot use cos if cross use sine yeah now it's using cross so it's sine lah uh, if uh, later you learn about magnetic flux it's dot product so you use cos uh, okay Alright, so I think you can just substitute all the value. The charge is the proton charge, which is also electron charge. Uh, put in the value. Yeah, put in the value. You know, uh, actually BQV and QVB is the same. Yeah, BQV and QVB is the same. Uh, but when you write the cross product, it's always maintained as QV cross B. Uh, don't change the sequence, become QB cross V. Yeah. It's always V cross B. The sequence is important here. Here, the sequence is important. 
Here, BQV Sandita, the sequence is not important. You want to write it as BQV or QVB, it's the same. Uh, but the sequence over here, who cross who first, is very important. Don't, don't write as uh, QB cross V. Uh, it's wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. Uh, you must write it as QV cross B. It's V cross B, it's not B cross V. Uh, okay? Uh, we call, we can all, cannot write as uh, we can cannot write as v uh, v q cross b uh, no cannot also yeah cannot uh, yeah we cannot write uh, we cannot write what uh, b q cross you know b q v b q cross v cannot uh? cannot all this cannot uh? Uh, b q v b q v q cross v no only q v cross v uh, this one sequence important uh, but this here, BQV, sequence not important lah. You want to write BQV or QEB is okay. But the sequence here, the who cross who, the sequence is important. Okay? Okay, so now VV is, uh, you know, velocity is uh, 3 exponent 7 just now. 3 exponent 7. Okay, 3, exp uh, oh wait, 3, 3 exponent 7. The magnetic field is, uh, magnetic field is uh, 1.5. And sign okay the angle between velocity velocity and magnetic field is uh, 50 degree yeah we are right this is for the second part already uh, here okay uh, so it's sign 50 degree yeah 50 degree okay make sure your your you know your calculator set to degree yeah not radian nah. don't set your calculator as radian nah. your calculator is in degree form uh, okay so now let's calculate uh, 1.6 exponent negative 19 multiply by 3 exponent 7 multiply 1.5 multiply uh, sine 50 so the answer is uh, 5.5 5.52 exponent negative 12 negative 12 newton ah uh, that's the unit that's the that's a don't forget the newton unit okay and that's the magnitude you just need the magnitude right okay so 5.52 exponent negative 12 newton that's right but that's my answer okay uh all right so you got it okay i hope you understand okay see you in the next video